I bet you're wondering why there's a keyboard, mouse, phone, micro USB to USB cable, Kingston Data Traveler USB and USB hub. That and more coming up in this video. Hey everyone, this is Technolocker here, and I uh, I've been looking around and I found a lot of you know coverage about um, micro USB to USB cables, otherwise known as USB OTG cables, and I wanted to show you guys some of the main things you can do with them and uh, some features about them. So a micro USB OTG cable allows you to plug in any USB device you want uh, to your Android phone and this only works with Android by the way uh, iOS doesn't support it because they are not open source like Android is. So Android natively supports this on Ice Cream Sandwich so you do not have to download any apps. So let me show you how it works. So first you must plug in the USB to your phone. I have a Samsung Skyrocket here um, rooted with a custom ROM, uh, it's ice cream sandwich based, so that's what most people are using. And um, I have a USB hub, keyboard, mouse, uh, and a flash drive to demo for you guys. So here is the mouse. So what I want to show you is when you put the mouse cable, the USB cable, what happens? So what will happen? is, is the mouse, you will be able to essentially control your phone with the mouse. So I don't know if you can see this, but I have a little cursor on my phone, right there. Um, it's a tiny little mouse, and you can basically operate your phone with the mouse, which I think is very cool. Okay, so here I have the mouse and phone setup. So, with the mouse, as you can see right there, I can control the phone. So I can pull down the notification bar. I have a SIM card in right now. Um, but it says that a mouse is connected, which is I think is very cool. And it's just natively built into the uh, software. Now, the only things you're limited is that you can't press the menu home, back, or search with the mouse. I haven't found a way to do that. Uh, I just tested it out for a little while, and I and be able to figure it out. But you can open applications like messaging right there. That was my test with the keyboard, which I'll show you in a minute. And um, again, like you can't go back or anything. Uh, you pull down the notification bar, right like that. Um, you can even dial contacts in the phone application. So I can 725 Eight five four. This isn't a real number. I'm just typing random things. Um, and you can even dial right from there, which I don't know why anybody would do that. But the point is, you can activate anything from the mouse. You can even it, it supports all gestures and everything. So that is the mouse. Moving on to the keyboard. Okay, so now I have the keyboard plugged in, and as you can see, when I pull on the notification bar, it says keyboard connected. So it lets you know that the keyboard is in fact connected. So if I go into messaging, hit new message, when I enter a recipient, and the in the enter recipient box I can type whatever I want. So this is the keyboard. Sorry for that. I um trying to do this on camera, it's not easy. So this is the keyboard right there. And then if you want to delete it use every main function of the keyboard. So I wanna what I want to test for a second is what does the Windows button do? Nothing. Okay, so the window button the Windows button doesn't do anything, uh, but I think that is the main thing that just doesn't work. Um numbers would work fine I'm sure. Uh yeah, so numbers work fine. Um 
So everything works fine, just the Windows button doesn't have a function. So that is a keyboard, and I think I find this mainly useful more for tablets um, because the Zoom supports this as well, and uh, a lot of other, you know, any other Android tablet. I'm sure the Nexus 7 supports this as well. So that is the keyboard. Let me move on to the USB. So I just plugged in the flash drive, and what you'll notice is when you unlock your phone, you will see USB mass storage connected. Now, how you view these files, simply enough, they are in your file manager. So apps, I have uh, my files here, but you can use uh, any file manager and you should be able to find it under your SD card or your yeah your SD card um, repository. You hit USB storage and USB drive A and here are my files from my USB drive. You can put movies, music, uh, documents, you can use a document manager to open them up in here and uh, I found this very good use uh, if you don't have, if you don't really want to buy a um, uh, a micro uh, SD card and you just want to use this to view your videos or whatever uh, or you don't even have a slot such as a 1x uh, you can use this to um, view your files so that is a very good uh, use of that okay so that was all three main methods of using USB on your phone that would be practical here is another very cool thing you can do with this. Now, I have a USB hub here. They are probably about five to ten dollars, um, ten dollars for a good one. Um, and it has four USB ports. Now, what I found is very cool after uh, a couple tests is I can plug the hub in just like so, just like so, and it lights up, noting you that it's plugged in, telling you that it's plugged in, and. Um, you can plug in every single thing I have here and it will all work. So that is the memory card, that is the computer keyboard, and this is the mouse cable. So all of those should be plugged in and working. And once I turn on my phone, you will see under the USB I said it says mouse connected and USB mass storage connected. Now, it doesn't tell me that the keyboard is connected, but it still will work, and let me show you that right now. Messaging, oh, whoops. New message, and I will type, hello, so that works. The keyboard works, and the mouse works, and I'll show you. See the little cursor right there? And, the USB works. Let me show you that real quick. My files and USB storage and USB drive A. So everything is connected and working. And that is a very cool thing because I did not think that it would support a uh, USB hub but it does in fact support a USB hub which I like and I think that is very cool memory card removed and I can take out all of these things. So, and I'm sure it supports four things, I just haven't found another thing that I can plug in. So, that is that. Um, these USB OTG cables run for about, oh, three bucks with shipping for a good one and from the US. Um, they might be a little more expensive now, I, I'm not sure but around that price range and um, they are very useful and I hope you guys like this video follow me on Twitter, I just got a new Twitter account for the channel and that is it for today, I'll see you in the next video, bye